Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I think we're on 17 now, vlog 17. It is Saturday, uh, Saturday, well, early afternoon, mid-afternoon, I guess. It is almost 3 o'clock, so i got to clean up a little bit of the table and stuff here. Uh, there's lots of pieces and stuff. I will be building in a stream today, I believe. Um, so that is the plan. So i got to clean up the table, and then uh, I'm going to stream with everyone. And then after that, uh, we'll see if I do anything else. So Saturday might be a wasted day, I guess. But uh, I definitely expect that on Monday, a lot of stuff is going to be added. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, and today I am in the store, or I have been in the store. I'm actually about to clock out, but we got a lot of orders over the weekend. Um, as you can see here, um, I believe, man, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 7, 17 orders today, uh, which is really nice, so that is great. Um, I believe that that is because of all of the new and used that we've been adding recently, mainly the used. We added a bunch of those figs, and we have seen a 67% increase in sales week over week since we started adding all of those uh, figs from the store that we bought. So that has been fantastic. Uh, there's also been a lot to consolidate, as you can see, uh, after today's orders. So all this is about to go back on the wall. Uh, we still got a couple figs here that I've not uh, gone through yet that are on the floor, but those will be input soon, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'm about to clock out, but uh, it has been a crazy day, lots of orders, and this uh, is not too abnormal for a Monday in terms of the amount of orders, but we've seen kind of similar numbers throughout the week, so um, that is actually fantastic. Um, so yeah, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow on Tuesday, and uh, we'll see if there's lots of orders then, and hopefully I'll be able to add some more parts. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday today, and um, I am cleaning the garage. That is my goal for today. Um, it is kind of a mess, as I'm sure you guys can see. It's always a mess, but today my goal is to go ahead and try and tidy it up and get it cleaned, and then I'm going to be cataloging and adding some parts. Um, Kyle should be in today to pack orders, so we'll see how that goes. And, um, yeah, not too much else. Fixing a couple problems. Uh, good to know that our error count has gone down a bit uh, since we did that audit, so that is good, and we're continuing to make progress there, so uh, that is great. But our order count is still up today. Um, we had five orders, which is pretty good for a Tuesday. Normally, Tuesday is our slowest day, so, uh, yeah, that is fantastic, and uh, hopefully I will catch up with you throughout the day if anything interesting happens. If nothing interesting happens, then I will see you tomorrow. Hello and good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, and uh, I'm packing orders and uh, hopefully also finishing Diagon Alley. Uh, let me show you some stuff. So over here are a bunch of BSXs that uh, I've been creating over the last few days. Uh, sorry about there, I had to switch hands with the camera, but uh, these are a couple BSXs I've been creating. Um, we've already uploaded a lot, but this is basically just what is left from um, a just official store. And then these are just some miscellaneous trooper parts that I found. Um, and uh, these have been cataloged, so these are going to go up. And then this is also just another BSX that we had. So we're kind of doing this thing where um, I will come in during the day and uh, make BSXs, and then at night, Evan will come in after I've clocked out and add them all to the inventory and double-check everything. And we're also doing this with Diagon Alley, so right here is all of Diagon Alley, well, some of Diagon Alley. My goal today is to finish it, and here we actually have some more of Assist Official's store. Let's see if I can move this with only one hand. I do not want to risk tipping that over, but we still have quite a bit of Diagon Alley to go through today, and that's going to be my primary goal. Um, some other things that happened, yesterday we picked up our second purchase of uh, bulk Lego from uh, our supplier, so here we've got some more tubs. Uh, this is 70, 72 pounds, I think, of, of bulk, and then here is some still left over from the first purchase, but uh, we're going to try and get through that. Um, as fast as we can. We've got some sorters, and we've got some stuff going out, which is fantastic. Um, we've also got some minifigs here that we need to go through. Just 
lots to do, so hopefully we can keep up. This summer we're really trying to expand as, as much as we can, so I'm sure there will be lots more stuff coming, but I'm going to go ahead and pack orders. I don't think today's going to be a very exciting day, so I don't think there'll be another update. Um, all I'm going to be doing is uh, packing orders and then doing some more Diagon Alley, but I will let you know if I finish it. Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, another day. Today is actually Sunday, so we missed a vlog putting it out or coming out last week with it, so we are just going to mishmash two weeks together. So hopefully this isn't too long, um, but today's an exciting day because it's Sunday, like I said, and I'm going to be putting up this side of the wall. So I just went to Home Depot, got some more screws because we didn't have enough screws to finish it up. And then on Friday, Kyle and I went to storage and we got Acro Mills unit. So we have those down there, uh, got more down here, piled up here as well. And then there's uh, also some that are just kind of hanging out over here as well. So they're kind of all spread out throughout the garage, but the plan is going to be to put them up today. And then uh, I'm going to print out the labels for them as well. I may not put the labels on today. Actually, I will not be putting all of the labels on today. I might put a few on for like, you know, the first couple units or something, but um, I will not be putting all the labels on. Um, and our plan is going to be two un or sorry, three units of the 64 count drawers, and then on the bottom unit is going to be 24 count drawers, which are the larger ones. Um, so kind of, let me see if I can find an example in here. I can't, actually. We don't have any in here that are like that, but that's going to be more convenient because on the big drawers on the bottom, it's easier to read the labels without having to bend over and see. And then the top three, uh, obviously, are small drawers because we're getting into used. As a lot of you know, we've been doing used the past uh, month or so. And we're using a lot more drawers because we have a lot more lots and stuff. So we're not filling them up with the big drawers. So we have a lot of empty big drawers right now, um, but almost no empty small drawers at all, actually. So very important that we get this up uh, today so that this week we can continue adding pieces to the store. Okay, so I've done a couple things today so far. Um, first of all, I shortened the wall here, so I essentially cut it, um, and I, well, I had to move the stud over, um, but I cut all the, you know, vertical, or sorry, horizontal supports, um, and then that stud is moved over, and that means uh, our wall is about eight inches shorter. It's probably, it was out to about here, but it, we couldn't use this space really, so I cut it down so it fits perfectly for the drawers. Now, the reason it initially was longer is because we had, at one point, this wall shifted all the way over, and it actually screwed into here, and then it had to have enough room uh, to pass those. So it's probably from, yeah, probably about 8 to 10 inches that I cut off, um, which now actually allows our cart to fit through here um, long ways, just as it does down the aisle. Um, so not that direction, but if we turned it, it could go like this, and then it could turn here and continue moving this way if for some reason we wanted to do that. But um, the bottom row is all screwed in, and I believe is about as level as I can get. Um, and then now what I have to do is I'll move the logo. Don't know exactly where that's going. Um, and I'll finish up putting the top uh, two drawers, or two two rows of drawers on. And then I actually went to storage and got a few more, because we had some more. Um, I got four more units, and we're going to, I'm going to do one more row right here. I got to extend that wall a little bit so these bins will end up moving over. Um, but I figure, you know, instead of having kind of this wasted space here, uh, we should put one more thing of, you know, four drawers. So we'll match those two columns with two of the large units at the bottom with 24 count, and then two of the uh, 64 count units at the top there. Um, and I probably I will not do that today. I will not extend that tonight. Um, but I will finish getting all these up, and I'll print out the stickers. Um, now, I've said this in the past, and I like buying these units used on Amazon because they're cheaper. And at the moment, uh, or before right now, we hadn't had any quality issues. Occasionally, there's a small clip down here in the frame somewhere, somewhere down here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so here or something occasionally... I don't know if it's too dark to see that, but occasionally that's broken off. Most of the time it's not, and if it is, there are still one, there's there's six clips on the whole unit. So if one of the six clips is broken, it doesn't actually cause any issue. Even if two or three of them were broken, it probably would still be fine. So this is the first quality issue we've had that has actually, uh, you know, will will affect uh, the, the unit itself. Is unfortunately, one of our drawers is cracked. So I unbox this. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Um, come over here on the light. But yeah, unfortunately... This is the first drawer here that has cracked, um, or is cracked when we bought it as used. So I'll see if we can contact Acro Mills or something, or if anyone wants to ship us one drawer, <laughs> um, the P.O. box is in the description below. Um, but no, I don't know. So I'll see if I can uh, contact Acro Mills and just get one drawer. So other than that, I still prefer to buy used on Amazon because the quality, for the most part, even with that one drawer that you know I or is broken, not actually a huge problem. Um, Compared to the price difference, you know, one drawer is not worth an $8 price difference. 
So I, I think that's all worth it. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. So sometime this week I'll build this wall out, but I'm going to finish this up tonight, and then that'll be it for Sunday. And here we are at the end of Sunday. All the drawers are now up. As you can see, like I mentioned, the bottom row is the 24-count drawers because we just don't have the quantity of a lot of pieces. Um, right now we have very few drawers available. You can see we have some small drawers, but the majority of what we have available is the large drawers that have gaps uh, where there's empty drawers. So that's why we're going mostly small drawers on this wall. Um, and then as we expand, you know, once we go through here, uh, we're probably going to fill in that area somehow, and that's when we can get, you know, whether we need more big drawers or small drawers, but this should be perfect for now. Um, but yeah, three rows on the top that are the small drawers, and uh, one row on the bottom that's the large drawers. And uh, yeah, this is going to be it for the rest of, or the, this is it for Sunday. Um, like I said, I will do something over here at some point with those four units. But yeah, that's going to be it. Now we can start numbering drawers. Good morning, everybody. It is um, Monday today. I always seem to forget the day of the week, but it is Monday today, and we're back in the store after a day off yesterday. Uh, today, lots of orders to pack, as is usual, on a Monday, but we have run into a little problem, and that is that we are out of drawers. There are no drawers left to add any parts. Uh, as you can see, the wall is really full here. Uh, there's only a couple drawers out at the moment, uh, most of which are currently um, over here being used to sort this black stuff over here that, that we're working on. But if I turn around here and look right here, you will see that Evan has put up the new drawers, um, which are fantastic and is starting to barcode them. Um, I, as soon as there are some drawers, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some pieces that we have over there because there aren't going to be enough to finish the black, but I'm going to hopefully get some stuff uploaded while Evan continues to barcode this. Um, there's a couple drawers available already, but uh, here he is, his smiling face in the morning. So uh, I will catch up with you if anything interesting happens today. Good morning-ish afternoon, everybody. Today is Tuesday, and I'm in the store. Evan is also in the store, um, and today... We have encountered a little issue with our inventory, which seems like I'm saying that all the time, but for this one time, uh, I don't actually think that it had anything to do with us. We encountered a little error with Brick Freedom, but before anybody says anything, uh, the guy who develops Brick Freedom is doing everything he can to try and fix it right now, and we've been on Discord with him, so don't hate on that. Um, but it was incorrectly giving us the remarks when we were trying to merge, so things were going in the wrong drawers, and we're trying to fix that right now because um, we have some logs that we can use to go back and try and find the right drawers. But uh, that is something that is going on. But on a happy note, we are getting ready to send out to our first cataloger. So this here is the box that is about to go out to a uh, cataloger. Well, this upcoming Monday it will. So we've gone ahead and turned it into only three categories. There's bricks, uh, small bricks, and uh, large plates in here, which are three of our uh, 19 categories. And they just kind of came out of these other boxes here that are floating around, and they've been consolidated into here, and our cataloger is going to go through and uh, start cataloging these, uh, which will be really nice, and hopefully we'll be able to meet our goal of trying to get uh, these 20-pound bins one a week on the wall. So we'll see how that manages to go, but... Uh, that's kind of what we are doing today. Uh, I'm going to try and do some cataloging myself in a bit. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Hey, everyone. It's Thursday, June 10th. Um, finishing some things up in the store at the end of the day. Paul is here. Uh, he I'm was just... Out. Oh, he's clocked out. But he was cataloging um, some stuff. And then I put uh, quite a few lots in the inventory today, actually. I'm finishing up some of Diagon Alley. So these are the trans uh, clear... Or these are specifically trans clear, but all the transparent pieces as well as purple and stuff, uh, and then I'm working on minifigs in the inventory. Gonna finish up the tan bag today, and then we only have a couple more colors after that. Um, I think black and dark bluish gray, the two biggest ones. Um, Kyle was just in here, he also helped part out Diagon Alley and then packed some orders. Excited that on Monday, we get uh, our first cataloger, I think Paul explained this a little bit, but our cataloger is gonna come pick up a bin of Lego, and hopefully they can return that uh, relatively quickly, and we'll see how that all goes and stuff, but we're working pretty well in terms of moving on to get a high lot count and stuff. Um, other than that, I made some dividers today. That was pretty much it, but yeah, lots of new lots in our store today. At the end of today, I think we're going to be at about 6,800 lots, which is pretty good. 
possibly by the end of the weekend, maybe we'll hit that 7,000 number. Um, tomorrow should be another great day of adding more lots and stuff. Probably at least 100 more tomorrow. Um, so hopefully we can do 7,000 at the end of this weekend. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, a little thing tomorrow I'm going to be, or tomorrow in terms of when this comes out. So this will come out on Friday. So tomorrow on Saturday, if you're watching this on Friday, I'm going to be packing orders on camera in the morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Um, so if you want your order packed on camera, you can place an order to, you know, in the next 24 hours or so, whenever this gets uploaded. Um, and I'll pack it on camera for you on a stream. Um, but if you don't place an order, that's okay too. I have a few uh, orders to pack. So I'll be doing that tomorrow, 9 a.m. So hopefully you guys can tune into that. Other than that, thank you for watching as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Welcome to the channel. And uh, go ahead and uh, leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. And then give it a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. As always, check out our Discord and Patreon if you feel like it. That's pretty much it. We'll see you guys all in the next vlog. Thank you.